Hello, this is a follow-up to our 10 gig on the cheap in your desktop or home lab. So we're going to run some tests here with uh, NTTTCPR. We've got a server here that we're going to use to receive. And I've got another machine that is going to send and we can see the uh, commands that we're going to run. So let me just start the sender. And now we should start to see some uh, activity on this 10 gig card. Okay, let's scale this up. So test is running right now. You can see we're getting about 9.7 gigs out of this 10 gig NIC. Also, we can see that down here. CPU, 6% usage. Uh, Memory is pretty low. And uh, we'll just let this test run for a few seconds, or actually a few minutes it takes. and. Uh, I'll come back to this video uh, once the test is done. So the test is still running. Still at 9.7, 9.8 gigs. But again, I'm going to pause the video and come back uh, when the test is done. Okay, I'm back now, but I guess one of the things I forgot to mention was what machines we were using. So we have this machine that's on the screen is receiving, and this is running uh, Windows Server 8 Beta, and the machine that's sending is just a uh, Windows 7 desktop. The NIC cards that we're using in both machines are from Chelsea, and they're S320E-CXA. So they're dual port 10 gig with CX4 interfaces. And we're connecting both machines with through six stacked switches and they're Dell 6224, there's five of them, and the sixth one is a Dell 6248P, it's a PoE switch, and we've stacked them using the stacking modules, and that's where we're also getting the 10 gig modules through the back of the switches. Each switch has two, can take two modules, and each module has two ports. So we're using one module for stacking, and we're using the second module for the 10 gig interface. It's also CX4. So we can see some detail about one of the NIC cards over here. And if we just look at the detail, we just gave it a funny IP address here, but that's what it's running. And uh, we'll just wait for this test to uh, complete. Okay, so the test is uh, done. And we can come over here and take a look at the summary. And you can see that our average or total throughput was uh, right about a little over 9.6 gigs and CPU usage was uh, right about a little over 14 percent. Now 
Now, one of the funny things that had happened before on some of the previous tests that I had run, um, you'll see here, had a throughput of about 9 gigs and CPU usage of a little over 40%. I was able to get that down by coming here and tweaking some of the settings on the Chelsea card in the device manager. The default setting uh, on the Q sets was 2. So for both ports, port 0 and port 1, even though I'm only using one port right now. But default setting was 2. Change that to 4. And CPU dropped big time. So we went from 40% to 14 now if you notice in the parameters over here I'm only running two threads this is two threads so once I drop the once I increase the queues from two to four I then doubled the number of threads to four so went from two to four increased the throughput but decreased the CPU So that concludes our little test on our 10 gig for the cheap. So remember, what we did here is we stacked a couple of Dell 6248s, 6224s, that same family. It could be the 24 port, 48 port, or the 48 port PoE. Get these on eBay, see them all the time three to five hundred bucks get yourself a couple of um, stacking modules and a couple of 10 gig CX4 modules and we're in business 10 gig on the cheap thank you